Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform if you feel the want or need to do so. I truly appreciate all of the support, all of the donations that I received for this project that I'm doing for a school in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. You can check out my website at watsamami.com and get some more details on that if you are interested. Also, there are bookings still available. If you would like to book with me, I'm also offering a new service that's available on the website as well. And let's get into this next download. Somebody thinks that you're crazy, but they, they, they're could be they could be considered to be crazy too. I don't know. So let's see. Holy Spirit, what would you like for the collector to know about this download that you've given me, Holy Spirit? What do we need to know? What type of insight, clarity, guidance, and wisdom do you have for us surrounding this download? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know as the collective from you through me at this time? Death. Someone feel, feels like they just, like they've come to this realization that you off, that you crazy, that something is wrong with you. It's like they've had some sort of awakening, some sort of epiphany, maybe a cycle closed out with this person. And once the, the cycle closed out, they realize some truths about you which caused it to end. I'm just looking at the skull and crossbones, this ribbon, this thread that's on the horse. I've never noticed that before. You see the skull and crossbones? Okay, this person could be in some sort of motorcycle group or something. But they're at peace now, okay? They're, ex they're they're experiencing a level of peace in their life that has encouraged them to really do some soul searching about you or whoever the other party is, okay? And this person realizes that getting rid of this other person brought justice into their life. It balanced the scales. Getting rid of this other person is why they're happy again. Putting their guard up to them, letting them go. This person could be like a Libra Scorpio cusp. Okay, this King of Cups, King of Swords. But he's realizing that cutting this, the, whoever he cut off, and I was about to say this third party, so I don't know. Maybe the person who's listening wasn't involved with this King of Swords, King of Cups, but he's cut somebody off for good, okay? And ever since he cut this person off, he's realized how peaceable his life has been, how serene things are, and he's understanding that who he was dealing with is why his life was so chaotic. That they crazy. Because see, now this masculine is evolving. He's he's bossing up to be who God created him to be. He's becoming the divine masculine. Ten of cups. His future is bright. He's been thinking about all the possibilities that could come about in his future. How things could play out what he could accomplish here with this chariot energy like he's really going in a very positive direction ever since he let this person go and it's like the as the time goes by he realizes more and more okay will of fortune three of pentacles that who he was celebrating with with this three of cups was his issue was his problem like he really thinks this person has mental health issues and they maybe they do because he didn't eight of cups them and he can tell a significant difference 
He wondering because because the distant the difference is so drastic that is is no way that he was the problem. Okay. You know how people will want to say you the problem? If everywhere you go or the people that you deal with, they're the problem. No, sometimes you're you're not the problem, but you are the trigger. Because your light irritates their demons. You bring it out of motherfuckers, okay? And that's why it's problems. Because the shit that they were able to do. The stuff they were able to get away with, with other people, they can't get away with that with you. Okay? And I just got a text message confirmation. So, yeah, they want to say you're the problem because you're challenging their authority. You're challenging how they are able to keep things stagnant and at a certain pace, at an even kill. You're you're challenging to rate you're challenging them to raise their standards, to elevate their mindset, their thinking, maybe do things a little bit differently that could be more positive. And some people don't want to make those changes. It's a lot of a lot of issues that these two people had. And what I'm really getting is that there was something this masculine was mirroring to the person he was in the three of pentacles and the three of cups with. He saw behaviors in them that were similar to his own behaviors. That's why they were so chummy. And he had to evolve and realize that how he was living and what he was doing wasn't right. That's why he ended up with a person like that. That's why I said at the beginning, he think they crazy, but they, they, they think he crazy too. Like clarify Holy Spirit. Like they judgment, child, and it's damn near in reverse. This person feel the same way about this masculine. Like, ooh, my life done got better since he left. Since I stopped dealing with him. I ain't feeling half crazy and acting out and doing things that I shouldn't be doing since I left him alone. That's their feeling. So he may have a sordid judgment of them. But they feel the same way too because this person was acting crazy. Judgment in reverse with the nine of wands. Yes, they were. They were showing out now. But I'm picking up that both of these people were behaving the same way. And it took them separating to realize that they both needed to heal. They both needed to transition away from certain behaviors Hangman, surrender, lifestyles, restrict themselves from certain certain energy, okay? Doing certain things, putting themselves in certain situations, possibly saving more money here, being more responsible, frugal, conservative. Like, I think both of these people were kind of out here all willy-nilly, honey, doing what they wanted to do. Three of swords. And it's caused a lot of loss and pain for both of them. Because both of them were going through it until they broke up. Devil on the bottom. Very karmic energy. It's a, it was definitely a codependent, addictive partnership that these people were in. So they had to fight the addiction here. They had to move forward if they wanted their future to be better. Here's the other person, Ten of Swords. So he Ten of Swords is Queen of Cups. He, I feel this King of Cups, King of Swords departed from her first. However, I feel like this Queen of Cups is also in the same mindset as he is in. That woo. Yeah, it ended. It's finally over with, but I'm jumping from a queen of cups to a queen of pentacles. As a result, my life is immediately getting better as a result of me disconnecting from this masculine. I'm more grounded. Okay, because a queen of pentacles, ace of pentacles is somebody who is grounded 
And because they are operating at a high vibration, which allows them to pace themselves to be more practical, more logical, to do things the right way, it, pre it presents new opportunities for themselves in their lives. Okay, so this person is already seeing how this breakup has enhanced their life. This Queen of Cups has went from the Ten of Swords to a Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. She getting better. She didn't got better. Star. She's healing. She's evolving. She's growing. So he can think she crazy. That candle just popped. I'm trying to tell you. He can think she crazy. But she think he, he was not quite all there either. Because baby, both of these people looking back, they looking back at things. Clarify this Two of Pentacles, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Two of Swords. Both of them are undecided about the other. You know, it's like for them to come out as king and queen of cups, at least these people were very much, I feel in love with each other at one point, very into each other. That's why they were on this high of some kind with this three of pentacles, three of cups. They were on top of the wheel. And now they're like very undecided, very unsure about why they were feeling this way. Three of Wands, trying to understand where all of that emotion was coming from. What was fueling them to be the way that they were with each other and as a person in general. Both of these people are definitely making some changes. I mean, because he went from the death to the temperance, hierophant justice, nine of cups. I mean, she did the same type of energy. Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles to the Star. Both of them have evolved. Okay, he didn't evolved into a whole divine masculine. Looked like she on her way to divine femininity. Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, because they both transitioned away from the destruction that being together caused in their lives, and they both are trying to work on themselves. Mastering being a better person and it's paying off. It's paying off. So I don't think that these people, Knight of Swords, I was just about to say deliberate action. These people used to take deliberate action out of emotion and it caused destruction in their life. But both of them are now taking deliberate action so that destruction won't occur in their life. Okay. And also... These people act crazy with each other, but I don't think these people act crazy when they are with other people doing their thing. Lovers, might of swords with the lovers, okay? They get into this aggressive, destructive mode when they together, but I don't think that's how they behave with other people when they're apart. They're totally different people. They know they was acting tower. They know they was acting crazy with each other. Strength with the tower. Just out here doing all kind of shit. To each other and with each other. Possibly against others. You know, we're going to keep it a being. This is a karmic couple who's realizing that they are the karmic to each other. And it's time for them to, it was time for them to move on. And they see that ever since they moved on, their life has gotten better. Okay, things have improved. Things are looking up for both of these people. They got healing to do, Ace of Wands, but they see how the universe is now moving in a direction that is conducive to what they want out of life. Okay, they're not suffering like they was when they was together, for sure. Five of Pentacles. So, I really feel like that's going to be part of this new journey that they're on. 
both of these people realizing that maybe the other one is a little cray cray, but it's because they were mirroring trauma, mirroring pain, mirroring healing to each other that needed to be resolved, released, and healing that most definitely needed to occur. Two of Cups. I'm telling you, they were mirroring each other. And they're both seeing that, oh, now they're at the stage where it's like, oh man, that motherfucker was tripping. I'm glad I got away from them. I see how my life didn't got better since I left them alone. But they're going to go into that next stage where it's going to be like, oh, that person was acting like that because I was acting like that. And we like-minded. We were being in, on one accord at a low vibration because we both had the same things to work on. So that's why we both was acting like that. It wasn't just that person. It was me too. That's the next stage of healing. And eventually both of these people are get to the point where they're thankful that they went through this karmic partnership because it taught them what they needed to get to a very pivotal place in their life. Okay. He ain't there yet. I'm sure she not quite there yet either. She healing though. He's healing too. She in the star, he in the hermit. Okay. But it's, it takes time to realize and even be thankful for karmic partnerships because sometimes these karmic, par karmic partnerships do be what free you. That puts you on your divine path now. So they'll get there. But Holy Spirit, anything else we need to know before we close this out? So... Whoever's listening, I don't know. You could be a third party to this situation. Technically, you could be the third party because this masculine was in a partnership with this Queen of Cups. He's not anymore. Maybe he's trying to get with his empress now. Okay? Because he did come out here as the emperor. She might be trying to get with her divine masculine. Don't forget, though. Justice was most definitely served. This don't forget to me is don't forget what this person put you through. You can forgive, but don't forget because there is some work that's needed here. He, he has evolved into this emperor, but he still has not realize that final stage he has not gotten to that point where he understands and is thankful that he went through what he went through with this queen of cups because it got him on his path to healing and led him to you back to you because see right now this is where he at now he's still throwing rocks hiding his hand and crying wolf he not fully taking responsibility for everything that transpired between him and this queen of cups. No, he's not. Okay. He has to get to that stage where he's thanking God. Like I just said, that going through that karmic partnership led him to his queen, his true divine feminine. Okay. Because I do feel like he was in love with this queen of cups. He, she ain't come out here as no queen of swords either. He may not be wanting to fuck with her ever again because he thinks she off her rocker, but she may still, I ain't going to say she in love with him, but she ain't hating on him. I don't think she out here telling people he crazy. Okay. So there was some sort of romance that, that occurred between the two of them. He wasn't just stuck to no crazy lady and he couldn't get away from her no this man was openly engaging and partnering with this person and he's mad now because he realizes the type of shit he was putting up with but again 
She was a mirror of him, so I'm sure he was putting her through some shit too. Okay. It worked both ways, honey. Dag ass day, dawn energy, awakening, realization. Okay. Maybe he's realizing that to a certain extent, but he ain't all he ain't all the way there yet. And until he fully elevates until he gets to that point because whoever i'm picking up on you at that point that's why you ain't out here this is beneath you you have disengaged from this masculine a long time ago because he was dealing with this karmic partner you may utilize archangel haniel as a spirit god that helped you disengage from this person because he was in a karmic partnership Okay, you are embodying Orisha energy. You have evolved far from where he's still at. He ain't got quite where you at yet, I'm telling you. Because I was thinking you was going to come out, but you didn't come out after about 15 minutes. And then as I saw what was really happening between him and this former partner, I understood why. Until he completely evolves and understands the purpose and the point of what he went through with that Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, so he can fully release it. He's not going to be where he needs to be to properly partner with you. Okay, that's what that's saying. Anything else? Take a break. They are secretly racist. Interesting. Whoever he partnered with, that he taking a break from, they could have been racist. That that might be what he didn't discover about them as well. That they don't even really like him or his kind like that or your kind or something like that. And you could be the same color and exhibit a form of colorism, prejudice regarding race towards the person that is your same color. That's what we learning or we're, we already knew that, but we're starting to admit that openly. So this may be something he discovered about this Queen of Cups that he took a break from. But this man is hoping that he can get back with you. That you and him will reunite, but he got to get fully in alignment first, or at least in alignment with you. Because how he's behaving right now, that's not in alignment with you. Because you have even understood that the reason why you went through the shit you went through with him was to make you into the empress you are today. So you ain't holding no grudges against him. Because you've evolved. You understand what that was about. You almost even appreciate that you had the lesson. You thankful for it. That it, it got you on your journey. It took you through your dark night of the soul. So he got to get to that point at least, honey. Because you don't want this man trying to be with you, but he bitter and resentful and still feeling some type of way about this other woman. You want him to release that completely. Okay, if you're listening. I don't know who listening, child. But let's see, because I'm picking up for some reason. Picking up on all three of these people, like at least the women may be hearing this, child. So let's see. Anything else we need to know, Holy Spirit, here regarding this Empress and her decision making when it comes to this situation moving forward? What do we need to know from you through me at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know? King of Wands, Two of Pentacles. He trying to boss up for you now. He is. But he still got some emotions that he needs to grapple with. That he needs to release and move on from about this woman. He still is trying to do a balancing act when it comes to his emotions about 
who she is for him to be saying that she crazy. Because I'm telling you, this woman is on her healing journey. She ain't out here blasting this man. Not that I'm picking up on. She moved on. That was what they decided to finally do. And yeah, maybe she was tripping at one point. Both of them was though. Knight of Swords, the lovers with the tower and the strength. Both of them was tripping. But she's on a new path now. Eight of, eight, Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups. And he's supposed to be on a new path too. So holding this grudge and possibly talking to people about how I rate this woman could have acted at one point with this eight of wands chariot. That's somebody who on a rampage. That's somebody who don't care. They ain't going to stop. They be moving real quick. They make real quick, rash decisions. And for some reason, I feel like this man has been out, out in these streets telling people that the reason why his life is balanced now, yeah, he has, is because he restricted himself from this tower rampage energy that he was with that's what he been telling people but it ain't hurt just her it was him too both of them was acting up and he would have continued to act cray cray too if he would have stayed with her it wasn't just her and i think people know that okay they just kind of let him vent you know, because they know his ass has been through a lot. But they know he he was a willing participant. Nine of Cups. And he might just be feeling good right now because he done finally got up, out of, got up out of all that stuff that he got himself into with this person. But they know, you know, it don't even matter. As long as both of them are doing better than they was doing, That that's the... The goal at the end, okay? So hopefully somebody has expressed that to him as well. Three of Wands, look to the future. Stop worrying about this, what this person may be have done. Okay, he's still talking about this Queen of Cups. He might be talking shit about her, but that means you bothered, okay? If you even got energy to do that. And so somebody been telling him it's time to turn your back. On this situation for good, look at what the future holds for you. If you done with her, you shouldn't even be saying nothing about her. It's no need. Move forward and, you know, look at what's ahead of you. Because that's, yeah, you see, you still ain't came out here yet, right? Because I'm telling you, he on his way. He's hopeful. Emperor, Emperor Ten of Cups. Because I was trying to give him the Emperor in the beginning, but... That's what he's hoping for in the future with this Ten of Cups coming out right behind it because he's still a little bit too bothered. Okay, and that's a challenge. That would be a challenge for you and him most especially. He has to let this go. He got to let this hate go, honey. He got to let it all the way go. Don't call her crazy. Don't say nothing about her. Understand her purpose in your life. Admit that you was acting up to. And now that it's over, y'all can move on. Don't try to say that it's her fault in any way. Let it go completely if it's gone. And awaken to the true part that you played in it. That's all the universe is saying. If you really want to have... Your two of cups with your empress. Okay. So I'm going to let it go right here, y'all. I'm going to drop the mic. I hope this message helps you. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.